Hey there guys, I'm Dank564 and this is a continuation of the Let's Play of 762 High Caliber. I didn't download the video yesterday because, well, I had a power outage when I was recording. Perks of living in Kazakhstan, I guess. Nah. <laughs> but, well, uh, I don't know why, why that nah came out. <laughs> I really don't. Just, just came out by itself. <laughs> really, I didn't mean to. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, in the previous part, we actually were able to kill um, a Morales gang that was supposed to appear in Kirano Brothers quest, but didn't, and, well, uh, probably my own mistake, right? So, uh, off, the, off the screen I just cleaned the guns and uh, sold everything I found here. I, I might have, like, picked up the AK Asus, uh, as, because, well... 545-39 has better armor penetration than uh, 9mm and 40, 45 caliber rounds uh, on my submachine guns, but I decided, well, since I'm going to probably get uh, uh, assault rifles soon enough, uh, not much point in picking them up, right? So I decided to stick with my own weapons, because, well, some of them already have... Uh, Attachments like here, I have a uh, holo side that will increase accuracy with a special with a snapshot. And well, eh, just was too lazy probably. So and now we are going to you know eh, get a new leadership for this uh, native groups of rebels. So we need to we're talking to Vittorio de Castigo. He is the second in command of. Pedro Nunez, who, uh, well, who's uh, their leader, and we're telling him that, uh, well, Tanya says hello, and she, uh, she wants a new leadership for this group uh, of natives, so they would be more co cooperative with her. Um, but well, this guy is—he's—he's he's all for it. But uh, he, he, he can just uh, kill Pedro because he's respected and everybody loves him, and nobody will follow him if he'll just kill him. So that's what we will do. And he also mentions that well, lately Pedro was kind of melancholic, and he has a silence pistol carrying him, like with himself all the time. So uh, at up two plus two. And well, you have a uh, dead Pedro. Uh, but uh, one plus that came out from the from the game uh, that was that you know basically crashed due to the lack of electricity was that I found out well the time is not right probably that uh, three thirteen is pretty much uh, considered. Sift considered to be a, probably a morning uh, or not the proper time for killing a chief of uh, rebels uh, I don't know so we'll just wait for uh, the next day till like probably 1 a.m. and we'll try to kill him then and go oh yeah and Paquito was shot in the leg and now can't walk good job Paquito uh, that that should be good. So we're we'll go, gonna need to go to you know no, to our base to heal him up. Probably should have done it uh, before I accelerated time, and he'd be ready probably by now. But oh well, what you gonna do? So I'm, I could actually tell him to, you know, that um, Vittori is trying to take his place, but, well, I, I will go to kill them as later anyway, so I'm thinking it will be much easier to do when they're all contained in one area instead of uh, dispersed like that. So I'll tell him that he has a nice gun there. No pun intended. Um, so... Uh, yeah, he tells that he actually 
took the guy, this gun from the uh, special forces captain that tried to assassinate him, and he talks to himself about about himself in the third person. So he definitely need, definitely deserves to die. Mm, so yeah, that's that's very impressive, and he gives it to me just to check it out, and that's uh, fantastic. You know, I will just pick it up and put it in my hands and well goodbye Pedro I guess in the head let's see if uh, just in case I miss and because I don't want to you know fight all the natives and good job I think yeah we're good are we Okay, good. So, by the way, let's check out this. He has a, it's a nice pistol, you know. There's a little laser sight and silencer and sneak brand new. So maybe we could. Mm, well, I don't know. Let's give it to Paquito. Uh, where is it? Oh, by the way, let's check his body. Oh, good. He actually has some hiking bag. Uh, let's remove it and inspect. Ooh. Okay, and give it all to Paquito. Here we go. Oh, and Kelly should get a uh, hiking bag. Well, as well as well, I'll put grenade into the to the cabin. We'll We'll use them eventually. Do we need? Yep, we could actually put it here. So, and everything is in the trunk. Good. So, Lambert will go and talk to Vittori, or what his name was. And we should be good. And let's take the submachine gun. Uh, okay, he is pretty much... He's the new leader and will go and report uh, to Tanya. But first I'm thinking I'll go and leave Paquito to the base, so he would heal up a bit. Enter. Uh, where is it? So, Paquito, will he be? Yep, he'll be crawling. I think he needs to be close to the doctor, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Paquito, you just had to be shot in the leg, didn't you? We need the doctor. She's a soldier. Yep, Paquito. 16 hours. Well, it's, that's okay, actually. Uh, so, now let's go back to Tanya and report that the mission is complete. Hopefully it will level us up, I don't know, maybe. Uh, okay, go, and we'll speed up time. So yeah, she's sending me back to Ciudad de Oro to uh, check if uh, the, the guy is... Vittorio wants me to do something and he'll probably want me to do something. So, yeah. 
Uh, let's leave and go back to to him, or should we go back to uh, the base? I don't think the ba uh, the that Paquito is ready yet. Uh, damn it! We're being attacked by bandits again. Great. So, you know, where's the nearest exit? And we're some, somewhere like. Are we outside of the map, or? Because it looks like it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> we're outside the borders of the map. I'm thinking. Or uh, not? No, no. We can actually get out of from here, from here, right? Through here. And there. Yeah, we probably can. <laughs> but but well, yeah, we're pretty much outside of the borders of the intended map. I'm thinking. Well, fine. We'll try to run away from here without actually engaging anybody. So where was that exit? Uh, here, run here. Damn it! What the? What the what? Where is he? Where is he? Sh Who's that? How? how dude, uh, I mean, the the shots came from behind me. So, uh, how's that even possible? Yeah, it's uh, probably bugged something because well, they're all over me and I guess Lumbers is dead so I'll just reload uh, the safe like like the jungle camp you know hopefully we'll not have to fight these guys again but if we will, it will probably at least be, you know, working properly. <laughs> okay, go back to Tanya. And yeah, 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 we already read that. So let's leave and uh, oh, uh, go to no, yeah, to Sidiad Doro, and we're actually good. So here, enter. Okay, good. So let's go to our new rebel leader of Sudet de Oro. We're all walking. You should be running. It's TNT. Well, I'll leave it here because we might actually use it to, you know, kill him later. When. Uh, Juan Rebenga will actually need that. So, did you open the door? Yeah. Let's talk to. Ooh, this guy. Ah, yeah, he still has uh, MP5. I thought it was M M4 already. So, did you say you have a job? So we need to assassinate a chief of police of Puerto Vejo. Oh. You know what? Mm. I don't know. Should I do that? Because I'm thinking that... Mm, I'm thinking that... 
there will be a mission for uh, Juan Ribenga to protect him. So yeah, uh, I'll get the same mission from Juan Ribenga, and I'm not sure I want to do the uh, to go and kill the police chief. So I might just, you know, kill everybody here. That's uh, an option as well, because I was was thinking I will do my missions for the government. And these guys have decent weapons, and, you know, uh, so yeah, let's leave, and probably go talk to Juan about killing them. actually forgot that the mission they will give is to kill the the police chief so because yeah. that's a fun mission well it's a, a bit tedious but well it's fun and I don't think it will be it will, I will be able to do both of them uh, you mentioned a new task Oh, I can't can't kill Vict Vittorio now, right? I should have taken the mission with him as well. Oh well. Uh, well, well, okay. Let's uh, take the mission from him because we're going to need to kill the them later, I guess. Uh, hmm. I'll get going. Okay, leave and let's go and pick up uh, Paquito. He should be able to join us now, right? I think it's been 16 hours. Is it? Probably was. No, he's not recovered yet. Leave. Um, do we have any sort of time constraint on the mission? Mm. Well, we'll not need him for that mission, I'm thinking, so just let's go to Puerto Vejo then. Well, this mission shouldn't be too hard because you know it will be just mostly talking and less shooting kind of stuff. So let's fold the stock and let's give Kelly a handgun just so she would be ready to you know shoot uh, with her handgun faster than with a submachine gun um, so we'll need to go and talk to the colonel and he's on the second floor right uh, what was it what yep here it is so
Okay, I'll leave uh, both Kelly and Hawk here. Just so they would uh, cover the door. And probably I'll, I'll take Kelly with me. Uh, Hawk will be more enough. So, Lombard, talk to Colonel. So, Police Chief Arturo Bon, but that's not him, probably the Major. So is the Major the Police Chief? Yeah, yes he is. Uh, I work directly with Juan Rubenga. I need to report to him, so... Uh. Mm, so the tourist planned to assassinate Umberto Lim during his weekly surgery? When he meets with the local city? I I'm thinking that's a uh, mistaken translation, or I just don't know all the meanings of the word surgery, which is possibility. Mm, well, basically, people will be coming here to uh, to meet with him. Uh, so, and then there will be a assassination attempt here. And he expects me to be polite and all that good stuff. But I should be here by 10.30 in the morning tomorrow. Let's... Uh, mm, accelerate time till 10.30. Okay, that should be right here. Good. Mm. Yep, there, there are visitors here that are coming in. They spawned. So... Everything should be working fine. Let's accelerate time a bit, and let's uh, let's save. Just cause you know reasons. Let's talk to the banker. Uh, So he says that he's the ban uh, manager of the bank. Uh, I was told to be polite, so I will be polite. Let's check his brief briefcase. He is refusing. Let's continue to be polite. Search the belongings. One cigar box, uh, one empty hip flask. And pile of adult magazines. Uh, let's open this cigar box. Nothing interesting. Let's tap the briefcase walls. A common briefcase. Good. Uh, look through the magazines. Nothing left right in there. Good. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day. And there's the visitor with a handgun. That's definitely the guy we need. So we'll actually move Kelly here with uh, her handgun and hopefully she'll be able to shoot the guy before he will shoot us so turn around and you Lambert you go and talk to the visitor I'm gonna search your personal belonging So he, he knows actually role that we were supposed to kill and all that what we didn't kill. Uh, so let's check check it out. 
he'll file a complaint, search his through his personal belongings. Uh, well, thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day. I was actually pretty certain that it was the, him who was, uh, you know, the guy who who will kill somebody. But I'm thinking that it's somebody else. So let's accelerate time a bit more. And let's talk to this guy. No, he's just local. He's not visiting anybody, he's just here because reasons. I don't know. No, he's definitely work walking. Hmm, strange. So, yeah, he, he's just. Let's talk to these stories then. Okay, let's talk to this visitor. Let's uh, search through his personal belongings. Mm, no, you can't move along, so... so I told him that's a mere formality and... Let's search through his personal belongings. So there's one wicked basket containing chicken eggs, carrots, and bottles of milk, uh, tortillas, beans, and bananas. Looks fine to me, but let's... Let's shake the basket. Take the basket again. The basket hissed. Yep. There's a snake here. Freeze. Just put your hands up. Enter combat. Okay. So. Shoot him, Kelly. You shoot him too, Lambert. And. Good. You shoot him too, Hawk. Okay. Lambert's ready. Kill is ready, Lambert's ready. Okay, we should move uh, Hawk out of the firing arcs of uh, our people. So let's finish him off. And we should be good. So the battle ended. Good. So we should talk to Arturo Bon. So he actually needs uh, us for another task, but I think I'll make a cut here and we'll see what the task is in the next episode.